Hey you guys and welcome to my daily painting studio where I paint fun little daily paintings. Hopefully I can share with you guys that the more you paint, the better you will get. So stop thinking everything needs to be huge and fantastic and just get painting. Today we're actually going to be painting this little wee stethoscope and I thought painting a little still life of a stethoscope um, as like a card and then doing a little bit of writing and things on the back of it was just better than buying one from the shops. So that's what I did. Alrighty, so this is an example of how you can experiment with daily painting. You can change your mind and push and pull the paint around the canvas. You can repaint a background, even though I like to put them in first, um, and you can move the main object around a bit in your, um, in your design, because that is what I have done here. So please, while watching the first couple of minutes, please understand that this is mostly overpainted and moved. I still think this is valuable for you guys to see because I want you to see how you can actually do this. Um, and in fact, the overlayer of the um, background actually, I think adds to the painting, but you'll see that soon. Um, it's not until about this part of the painting that we start to see the little painting emerge with its um, proper background, but we'll get this soon. So I knew when I started that I wanted a bluey purpley background and I know I wanted it to be a midish value so not super light in this particular case. Um, the stethoscope is black so it is a you know a fully fully dark um, dark values but I also had the light bits of the stethoscope to um, contend with as well so I figured a mid value would be best. And I went in with my favorite combo of alizarin crimson and ultramarine blue which makes a really nice beautiful purple. And I sort of kind of cooled it down with some green and a cooler, you know, like a cobalt blue as well, which I didn't like in the end. Um, also, acrylics often dry a tad darker than the wet color, so that is something to take into consideration. Um, but this ended up way too dark. I dried it and went in with another layer, but it was still too dark. And um, then I was just like, eh, I started the stethoscope. Um, I should have fixed the background first, but as you can see, it actually kind of worked out well that I didn't. Um, I also moved the shape around um, and you know fix the background soon obviously but while we're here I just wanted to show you the stethoscope going in I used a slightly thinned down black paint to sketch in the shape um, and you can push and pull the sides to get them smooth in two ways one either using a really clean slightly damp brush that you dried on a paper towel to push the paint back into the spot you want and use a clean um, wash slightly damp brush every time you you know, make a, a stroke to push it back in um, and that will push the paint back into where you want as long as it's wet. Um, you can also go back in with the background colour. Um, this is another argument for actually putting in the background colour later on but personally if you're going to do it like this I like having something down on the canvas first so having the first layer that was too dark was actually kind of helpful to me. So I wanted you guys to see that you can actually move this main shape and you can overpaint the background. You can see just that little method of just pushing that paint back into um, the right spot there. Um, I go ahead and actually um, change the shape of that again as well because it looks a little bit angular and not quite enough circular for me. So now I'm just putting a, a, a base white coat down here just the rough shapes I'm not looking for anything too fancy um, just simply because um, there's a dark background and if I start painting gray over the top of that um, you know it's going to take a few layers so I put a white one down first um, and then I'm, I'm just blocking in the main shapes as you can see there I'm not too fussed about um, you know where those little black lines are it's easier actually just to paint the big main shape um, and then I'm like okay right got to deal with the background and in we went again with the color that I needed to put down the first time um, and you can see there that it's 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 a thick layer but it's also got a little bit of um, the background showing through so it actually works quite nicely because you've got the undertone of that darker color going through if I did this straight onto the white canvas it would have turned out quite differently um, and I quite like having that sort of show through there of the um, uh, of the the darker color and then just sort of uh, I paint a little bit messy here and sort of kind of go here and there because each layer needs a little bit of dry time before you can touch it back up again um, and here you can see right I've decided the shape was wrong um, now that I've seen the main background color I'm like no I've got to fix it so I've painted out some gray and then I'm just using the background color because um, this paint is obviously dry so I can't nudge it in with a damp brush so I'm just going in with one layer of the background color and I'll let it dry and I'll go back in again with <laughs> another layer of um, the background color until it gets right and then it's going to take a, a few goes um, 
just to get that looking nice and um, nice and smooth and then a little bit later on I'll go back in again with some black um, there and just retouch up that edge and make it look nice and smooth um, tip with that obviously is a slightly um, you know a couple of layers slightly damp brush and get that done now I'm just painting in um, the silver bits um, so uh, obviously yeah, too much big blob paint there um, silver is you know there's a lot of um, sort of very angular you know white and silver and dark gray you know you know lines and things on here um, you know when you're painting you know a little shape shape like this so um, I kind of go in and out and sort of trying to get it right because sometimes it, um, it's such a small area that you can't just paint the one little area that's not quite working well you kind of have to overpaint a lot of it and then go back over it again um, it's not so much of a drama in a in a bigger shape but because it's quite small it's a bit tricky so I was getting it roughly right and then just putting in that little black line where the sort of the rubber around the, the edge of the um, um, stethoscope there is and then just you know a couple of little white lines or they're not actually pure white they are slightly slightly off-white as well um, I always reserve pure white for the very last moments of the painting till I know exactly where I want them because once they're in um, you know that's as light as you can go so it's always just a good thing to remember there um, and I um, just readjusted the shape of the earbuds there too on the um, on the stethoscope as well these were actually really hard to paint in um, because they were so small um, if I was doing this again like on a you know, slightly bigger painting or something that would be a bit easier but um, it was actually quite difficult getting getting that in even with tiny paint brushes um, it was actually really quite difficult these would have been easier if I had done them bigger and then I'm um, just thinking with the silver because obviously this is a metal in here so you're going to have some fairly sort of um, angular kind of lines of your color again a little bit difficult because it's actually quite thin so a, a darker gray and then a there's the silver sort of um, you know the white highlights again they it might look white but it's not actually white going in there it is uh, slightly slightly gray down because you can always add a little bit of white there we go I think that was a little bit of pure white just going in over a couple of those little bits as well um, and then going back in again white gray white gray till I get it looking um, looking right it's, it can be a little bit difficult with those with those small brushes sometimes and here we go again another layer of the black because it's not quite dark enough yet and not quite um, the right shape so just smoothing out those edges sort of pushing and pulling and so that's the black going in and then I go around um, the edges and sort of knock it knock it back in again with a dry brush um, and now we're putting in the highlights of uh, the stethoscope so this is a really shiny um, you know plastic so you you get really really white highlights in there and so this is when I start putting in those actually white um, white highlights in there I still have the shadows to go um, they've got to go in and the name um, and then just another layer of, of that black because again um, they're quite uh, small areas to painting so you can't paint very thickly with that so I'm just going in there with the, the shadow color. So it is just a, a bluier and slightly darker in um, value in there. A little bit of black added into that. And um, don't forget, of course, it won't necessarily touch the stethoscope because the stethoscope is sitting a little bit proud of the table there. So um, it doesn't actually always go you know, right next to um, the stethoscope which is why you have that little patch of the the background color between the stethoscope and um, the table in some of those areas because a stethoscope doesn't sit you know dead flat on the table because the um the way the um, the tubing sort of kind of works so just knocking that in um at this point i was kind of running out of time we got to that hour hour 20 actually but I think that did include a couple of minutes where I dried it for a bit um, and uh, I might have redone those shadows a little bit more um, evenly and then just going in with a really tiny brush strangely enough this I can manage so much better than actually writing with a pencil at the moment because um, as you can see my thumbs actually remaining relatively still there which you know anyway um, so I'm just going in with a really light sort of limey yellowy green kind of color it's sort of quite complementary to the purple um, so it stands out really um, quite well as well and just popping in two very careful coats of uh, the paint that I was so worried I was going to bugger this up <laughs> because you know get to the end and then muck it up um, and then just another little coat just to get that all sorted and um, there we have our little hour long daily painting and um, it was just a nice little card that I obviously gave to Kathy um, as a going away present.